Hello friends, welcome. Are you guys having a good day? I am. It is hotter than blazes here today. Although I guess I really shouldn't complain because I'm sure people who live in Arizona or in the South where it's hot and humid, they're probably like miserable. So all I have to say is thank you Jesus for air conditioning. What a blessing. And my husband and I were just talking this morning how growing up we didn't have air conditioning. But thank God when I was younger we lived in the Pacific Northwest so it really wasn't that hot you know during the summer months but thank God for air conditioning that's all I have to say God is so good so today I am going to share with you my recipe for some yummy yummy sourdough Swiss cheese bread you will want this on your table the next time you fix dinner for your family. It is so good. So I'm starting with a sliced loaf of sourdough bread, and I have the whole loaf here, and I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees, okay? Then in this measuring cup, I have one cup of melted butter, and to that, I am going to add and normally I just dump, I don't measure, but I'm gonna measure for you guys today so you'll kinda know how much I'm putting in. So this is a quarter of a teaspoon. So let's see, one, two, there's a half a teaspoon of onion powder, three, four. So I'm putting in one teaspoon of onion powder you don't want to use the salts because the butter is salty. I'm using salted butter. So one cup of salted butter. And then I'm going to probably use the same amount of garlic powder. So I'll use one teaspoon of garlic powder. Maybe a teaspoon and a quarter. Okay, and then I'm going to add Italian seasoning and i'm probably gonna do one two i know they're heaping three four okay teaspoon of italian seasoning mix this up stir it all together until it's all blended in and then what we're going, ooh, I just splattered it. And then what we're gonna do is pour it over our loaf, okay? And just in all the little cubbies here, we just wanna let it go down in all the things. So I'm just gonna start pouring and you're just gonna slowly go across in between your slices of bread. And I put a piece of foil, as you notice, I kind of made a little pocket around the loaf because I don't want this butter to run out. I just want it, actually, if any of it gets to the bottom, I want it to soak up in the bottom of the bread. So I put this little, okay. So now I've gone down each little slice of bread. So now I'm literally just going to go like this and pour right over the top of my bread okay because i want all that goodness on the bread okay till it's all out don't want to lose any of it it's all flavor okay so there we go now we have our butter mixture in our bread now the next thing i'm going to do is take my sliced swiss cheese and I'm going to lay cheese in between every one of these slices of bread. And you notice I'm kind of going to the right because I want this whole thing to be covered in cheese. So I'm going to make sure that there's going to be cheese on every slice of bread all the way across. So as the pieces get wider in the middle, I'm going to the far side to put the cheese and then I'll go back and I'll put cheese on the other side as well. And I'll tell you what, this is some cheesy goodness right here. Maybe 
I could put that one down a little bit more. Okay. And no, this is not diet friendly at all, but boy, is it good. Okay, so now we've got through that pack. Now let's do this pack. And I need one all the way to the back. Okay, and now I'm gonna come up this side and start putting cheese on this side so that this side of the bread has cheese as well. And then we're gonna bake this for about 30 minutes in a 350 degree oven. And by that time, this bread should be nice and toasty and all this cheese melted and it should be delicious. You guys will love this. It is so good. This is a really good bread to serve if you're doing a beef dish. So whether you're doing steak or roast or, um, you know, anything like that, you would love this bread. It goes really good with a beef dish. Or if you're making a brisket, it is really, really good. Okay, I think I got cheese in all the little cubbies. Okay, so there we go. So now I'm just going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes and let all that cheese melt and let the bread heat up. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. Here is our delicious sourdough Swiss cheese bread. Oh my word, I just pulled it out of the oven. I did turn the broiler on for just a couple, maybe even, I don't even know if it was a minute, but just to kind of brown it. And there you have it. And look at that gooey, gooey goodness. That cheese in there, yum. Look at that. Right there, you guys, that is some goodness. You guys go make this. I know you're gonna love it because I do. It is so, so yummy. You guys have a blessed day and I love you guys and I will see you again real soon.